Hello class, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be a teacher in general mathematics and for today's lesson we have the lesson 15 which is about solving exponential equations and inequalities. So from our previous lesson, we discussed what are these two terms, exponential equations and exponential inequalities. We've already had examples before and now let's now solve. So, how can we solve the exponential equation? But first, we need to consider this equating exponent property. What is this? So, this states that in an exponential equation, if the bases are equal, then the exponents must also be equal. Or if the exponents are equal, then the bases must also be equal. So, let's say for example, let A, B, and C be real numbers. So, your A should not be equal to 0 because we'll represent that as your basis. So, we have A raised to B and then A raised to C. And if, that will be if and only if B is equal to C. So, your base here is equal because we have a to the right uh, to the left a to the to the right at your base and your exponent must be equal b is equals to c to have a raised to b equals to a raised to c so um how can we solve that so now here are the steps to solve an exponential equation. So I have three. First, we have to rewrite the equation so that the bases are the same number. So in our relation to equating um, exponent properties, so we need to make sure that you have same bases to both sides of your equation. So the second step is once the bases are equal, you can now set the exponents as equal in equating exponent property. So you need to equate your exponents if the bases are already the same and try to solve uh, you need to now solve the values of your x. So for the last step, we need to check your solution. So, to be able to know is your value that you have already um, solved in the previous step, you need to check and substitute it in your equation, exponential equation, to determine if that is a true solution. If it's a true solution, your um, exponential equation will assimilate to a true statement. So now let's have some examples. Let's have example one. Solve seven raised to x plus one equals to forty-nine. So this given exponential equation, um, we need to find the value of x. So what is our first step? So for the first step in our solution, we need to rewrite the exponential equation to have the same basis. So, this exponential equation, um, as we can see in the left side, we have 7 as our base and in the right side, we have 49. So, we need to make sure that they are the same basis. So, 49, it is also equivalent to, also equals to 7 raised to 2. So, 7 squared is also equals to 49. So we can rewrite that um, the our exponential equation with seven squared as part of our left uh, right side to be our on our right side. So our new equa uh, our equation now is seven x plus one seven raised to x plus one equals to seven squared. So now our bases are equal. We can now set our exponents. Uh, we can now equate our exponent by equating exponents property so we've discussed that earlier so 
Now we have x plus 1 as the exponent on our left side and the exponent of our right side is positive 2. So we have x plus 1 equals 2. So to be able to get the value of your x, we need to solve this equation x plus 1 equals to 2. So the value now to get the x, we need to sub subtract both sides with negative 1 or simply just transpose this positive 1 to the right side um, we can change the sign we need to change the sign that will be negative 1 so we have x equals to 2 minus 1 so we just subtract, subtract both sides with negative 1 so the answer now here x is equals to 2 minus 1 that is x is equals to 1 so this is now the solution to our exponential equation so to be able to know if it's correct let's check it so part of the third step so we need to check by substituting x plus x equals to 1 to our exponential equation so we have now 7 raised to 1 plus 1 equals to 49 so 7 1 plus raised to 1 plus 1 that is 7 squared equals to 49 so 7 squared is equals to 49 so 49 is equals to 49 that is correct so meaning x is equals to 1 is the right solution to our problem exponential equation given 7 raised to x plus 1 equals to 49 so now let's have another example example number 2 solve 16 raised to negative x is equals to 1 over 64 so again our first for our first step step we need to rewrite our exponential equation and make sure that the both on right side and left side has have the same basis so we have the base for our left side which is 16 and for our upper over right side we have 1 over 64 so similar to them we can make use a uh, base wherein it can be simplified into 16 and also into 1 over 64 so we can make use of positive 4 so 4 raised to 2 or 4 squared is equals to 16 so for that is for 16 and 1 over 64 uh, 64 is the same with 4 raised to 3 so since it's a fraction that means we just need to apply the negative law of law of exponents so this will be um, our 16 will be 4 squared and our 1 over 64 that is equivalent to 4 raised to negative 3 or 1 over 4 raised to 3 so they are just the same so simplifying um, this um, equation we have 4 raised to 2 times negative x equals to 4 raised to negative 3 now they have the same basis let's now equate our exponents using equating exponents property so we have now 2 as our expo uh, 2 times negative x as our exponent to the left side and to the right side we have negative 3 so simplifying this equation we have 2 times negative x that is negative 2x equals to negative 3 so our negative 2x um, our to get the value of x we need to divide both sides by negative 2 so we have here negative 2x divided by negative 2 equals to negative 2 divided by negative 2 so we can cancel negative 2 over negative 2 because negative 2 divided by negative 2 that is equals to 1 and negative divided by negative that is positive so the value of x is 3 over 2 or 3 halves now for our third step in our solution we need to check if 3 over 2 is the right solution so at x equals to 3 over 2 let's just substitute x equals to 3 over 2 to our exponential equation rather now we have 16 raised to negative 3 halves equals to 1 over 64 so 16 raised to negative 3 halves is also the same to 
1 over 16 raised to 3 halves. So, this is uh, the law involved to this is negative exponent law. So, now we can simplify um, this 16 raised to 3 halves is also equals to square root of 16 raised to 3 because uh, we have an index uh, which is a fraction. Uh, we have an exponent which is a fraction so we can make it in, make it as a uh, radical. So now square root of 16 is also equals to 4. So we'll have 1 over 4 raised to 3 equals to 1 over 64. So that is also the same. Um, 2 1 over 4 thirds of uh, course cube that is 1 over 64 so 1 over 64 is equals 1 over 64 that means 3 over 2 the solution is correct so now let's move on to our third example solve 125 raised to x minus 1 equals to 25 raised to x plus 3 so Again, first step, we need to make sure that they have the same bases. This left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. So, rewriting it, uh, rewriting, rewriting the equation we have here. So, our base, bases are uh, 125 and 25. Similar base that we can use for them is 5. Why 5? Because 5 times 5 times 5 that is equals to 125 so meaning 3 times you multiply the 5 so that is 5 cubed and our the 25 we can make use 5 squared or 5 times 5 that is also that is equals to 25 and our exponents here are x minus 1 and x plus 2 for the right side so rewriting it we have 5 cubed for 125 times uh, multiply to the, the exponents x minus 1 equals to 5 squared for 25 the base 25 so we have x plus 3 for quantity x plus 3 for the exponents so now to solve for the value of x we just need to apply x, uh, equating exponents property let's just get the exponents so we have 3 times uh, quantity x minus 1 for the left side and 2 quantity x plus 3 for the right side. So, distributing 3 to x minus 1 and 2 to x plus 3, that we will get 3x minus 3. So, 2, ti two times x, that is 2x, then 2 times positive 3, that is positive 6. So, Combine similar terms so we can transpose this positive 2 to the left side then this negative 3 to the right side where in in your left side we have terms with variable x and for the right side we have constants so we have 3x minus 2x equals to 6 plus 9 so simplifying this equation we will have now 3x minus 2x that is positive x and 6 plus 3 that is positive 9. So this is our solution to this given exponential equation. Now to sell, uh, to check if it's if this solved um, solution is correct, let's check it through our third step. So let's substitute x equals to 9 to our exponential equation. We will have 129 raised to 9 minus 1 just substitute 9 to our x here then that equals to 25 raised to 9 plus 3 so substitute your 9 to your x so we will have 125 raised to 8 and 25 raised to 12 because 9 minus 1 that is 8 and 9 plus 3 that is positive 12 so to know if they are the same this 125 raised to 8 and this 25 raised to 12 we just need to get the similar basis again 5 so for 125 we have 5 raised to 3 and then for 25 we have 5 squared so 5 uh, same basis just get the uh, exponents we have 3 times 8 so 
3 times 8, then 2 times 1. So, we have now similar 5 raised to 24 equals to 5 raised to 24. So, the solution is correct. So, this x equals to 9 is the correct solution to our given exponential equation problem.